Welcome, Annie Collins here for the Fairy Stamper. Today we'll be creating this Happy Mother's Day card. Let's go to the products I used to create this card. From Fairy Stamper, the Fantasy Flowers, which is FHS032, and Fireflies, which is FHS065. I'm going to use some Yupo paper. And for our sentiment, I'm going to bring in the Hero Arts Stamp and Cut Happy Set, which is DC150. I'll be die using the die cut happy and the words Mother's Day. I went ahead and stamped that ahead of time on this little banner strip. And I die cut the word happy three times out of white cardstock and once out of this shimmer gold paper cardstock. Versifying Claire in Nocturne um, ink. Some embossing powder in gold. Art glitter glue to put our project together. And of course, some alcohol inks in a variety of colors and the blending solution. I also have an A2 sized um, side folding card base, which is 110 pound weight. And I pulled out one sheet of the Yubo paper and this is the five by seven size. Let's clear our desk and get started. If you've never used Yubo paper, it's a plastic card stock. So it's not necessarily paper, although it's called that. So I'm going to start by pouring, pouring some blending solution and then some drops of aqua, we'll followed by dandelion, some more solution, and then followed by flamingo. Those are the colors I used. Again, that was aqua, dandelion, and flamingo. And I'm just going to keep adding solution and colors and blending it until I get the desired look. Anywhere where I have colors that got muddy, I just use a paper towel to dab up and also to lighten that area. I will do this until I get the desired effect I like using repeating the process solution color paper towel if needed once I get it to more or less where I want it I will then use my heat tool to slightly heat set it so only did this so that we can move on with the video normally I just let it dry on its own another thing I will do is I put solution blending solution directly on my paper towel and then I dab it. That gives me this textured look on the background because it removes the ink from any of the spots and it creates these beautiful cells in the ink. So I'm going to quickly do a nice heat again set to it. I'm putting some um, anti-static powder onto my panel and brushing it off with my paintbrush. I'm going to trim down this panel now to four by five and a quarter. And then I'm going to now set it in my platform so I can stamp my flowers. I'm going to arrange them towards the bottom and I'll be stamping and then heat embossing these flowers. You can heat emboss on Yupo paper. Just make sure you treat it the same way you treat vellum where you have your heat tool as hot as possible so that you can spend the least amount of time on it because it is plastic and it will melt or so there will be some warping which is natural with any kind of heat embossing, but you don't want to leave the heat tool too long on there because it will melt it. So here we are, we are stamping our images, get a nice good image, put some embossing powder on here, and then I will um, heat set it. I have my heat tool on to the side there, getting warmed up. Because you want to spend as little time on this, heating it up. So I'm going, there we go, we heat it all up. Once it's all shiny, we know it's set. I'm gonna add a few more flowers on the bottom to fill in the spaces. You could leave it like that if that's what you desire, but I wanted to add a few more flowers. And I moved them in, I re rotated the, de the design and I also um, moved them up and down so they're not straight all across them. So for some reason my camera cut off and you missed me stamping the firefly which had nestled between the two taller flowers. Now I'm rubbing some of this Nocturne ink on the edges of the Yupo paper, and I'm adding some embossing powder to it to give it that nice distressed little edge of um, gold on it. When I heat set that, got a little warp, so this is why I'm bringing in some tear tape on the back so that it can hold it flat for me quicker than the art glitter glue can. So I'm gonna add some art glitter glue as well so that I can get this on my black cardstock, which I also brought in. 
So because I needed a little edge to it. So now I'm going to add, I trimmed away any of the extra black cardstock. I'm going to adhere my panel onto my card base. While I trimmed that, I also adhered my gold um, happy cardstock to the other stack of happy word. And now I'm putting little dots on the back. I'm going to try to show you. I just put little tiny dots, if my camera would focus. There you go. On the back of the word happy. Because you don't want a lot because then it'll ooze all over the place little dots then you put I put my um, acrylic block on it to hold it in place and then I have little foam dots on the back of our little word strip here and I got ink on it so I'm going to take my um, sand, mono sand eraser and remove it now for some finishing touches I'm going to bring in some tiny gold hearts and tiny aqua colored little flat sequins or confetti and I'm going to place some by the sentiment and scatter them throughout the flowers. And that will be the end of our, <laughs> the end, the finishing touches to our card. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here I'm going to show you a close-up of our card. You have all that nice, beautiful shimmer and color in the background. Nice, um, springy colors. And again, we used the Herald Stampin' Cut, some Yupo paper, Alcohol Inks in Aqua Dandelion and Flamingo, Rissa Fine Clary Nocturne, Golden Bossing Powder, our Fantasy Flowers, and Fireflies to create this beautiful card. I, of course, will have everything linked in the description box below. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to have more inspiration.